the Woodford Fairs and the Mummer Festival. St. Stephen's Day is almost with us again, evoking happy memories of days spent in Woodford. As Sigerson Clifford penned many years ago in his native born in Shroja, when he wrote, We sang for joy beneath the sky, life held no print nor plan, and we boys aboard in Shroja went hunting for the ran. Charles Kickham, author of Nagnagau, also recounts the exploits of Matthew Thrasher and his comrades as they chased the wren along the hedgerows of Mullina Home in County Tipperary. In researching this brief article, I could find no evidence of hunting the wren in Ballinakil or Derry Plan. Hence the absence of the title Wren Boys and substitution of the word Mummers. To digress slightly, we talk about the Woodford Fair. As far back as old Moore's Ormley goes, that's to 1764, there is reference to the fair held in Woodford on St. Stephen's Day. This was one of the few fairs held at the festive season, and the origin of the fair itself is shrouded in the distant past. Woodford then became the mecca for dealers and sellers alike, from all parts of Galway, Tipperary and Clare. With the passing of the country fairs in most parts of rural Ireland, Woodford held to his tradition tenaciously. And parallel to this, another rural event, which gained popularity during the last three decades of the last century, namely the Woodford Mummer Festival. From wishful beginnings, the festival blossomed into an event which stole the hearts of many in the west of Ireland. For 33 years, it presented a yearly revamped programme for its loyal subjects. It followed a simple formula which cradled the dying art of mummy to help the festive season to thrive and survive. The idea was discussed at a cold school dory meeting in Mr. O'Farrell's public house on November the 29th, 1969. Under the direction of officers like Father P.J. Kelly, President, Father Carl Stanley, Vice President, Seamus O'Reen, Chairman, John Malloy, Vice Chairman, Secretaries Patricia Ames, May Fogarty and Mary McMahon. The branch embarked on their new venture which was then unique in rural Ireland. The inaugural festival was an outdoor event which involved a mass pageant of mumming bands marching through the village of Woodford. This new event took the people of the hinterland by surprise and helped to prolong the Christmas spirit. The eventual winners for that day were Tina in the senior category and Balnacale in the junior section. For the following number of years, Tina dominates the competition with memorable performances given by the artists of East Galway. The outstanding talent in that team were the set dancers, the band members, and their leader, Pori Hines. As the 70s rolled by, Ballinakil Troop of 69 reached maturity and contested the senior categories for many years. Success followed under the direction of Brady and Martin Patty. Notable performances were given by veterans like Sonny Murray, Tony Kinner, Michael and Paddy Rafferty. Other groups graced the stage at Woodford Ballroom in the intervening years. Groups like Kilconnell, Kilimer, Woodford, O'Callaghan's Mills, Kilkishen, Tulla, Doc Rainey, the Father Spellman Group, My Glass and Rim.
Under the chairmanship of Seamus O'Reen, the Woodford Festival flourished. He chaired every meeting and for 30 years acted as master of ceremonies. Then on his retirement as principal of my Glass National School, he went to live at his daughter Kathleen's home in Ballycommon, County Tipperary. Michael Moran became the new chairman. Michael filled the post with diligence, integrity and excellence. A businessman in Woodford himself, he strove to make the Woodford Festival a countrywide event in Ireland. He exhorted, directed and promoted the mumming activities, and he even took part in the competitions. Sadly, Michael went to his eternal reward on February the 9th, 2002. East Galway, Connacht and the Midlands mourned his loss. Er yeshje grawa on. Marni vai lehiji on arish. With the arrival of the next generation, the Woodford Mammoth Festival has been reimagined for the modern era. The vibrant sound of fiddle, accordion and pipes heralded a new festival which commenced in 2018. Musicians, singers and dancers celebrated the Mummer tradition with an appreciative audience in all the hostelries throughout the village. It was a spectacular success and reinstated Woodford and its mumming traditions.